Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Tiny Night. That's right, it's with the small, tiny, and the large night, so it's clearly Tiny Night. So, small than big, you, you get the idea, guys. It's by Convex. It released today, March 17th, 2016, onto Steam, and I'll have all the information as to where to get the game, information about the game, information on the developer down below in the description of the video, as I always do. So, what is Tiny Knight? It's an adventure platformer where you get to murder stuff. So let's hop in and murder stuff, shall we? We will start with Humble Beginnings. And we'll play through 15 to 25 minutes to give you guys a rough idea how the game plays, what it's all about, and, well, get you guys to enjoy it and get behind it. So, you'll be able to make an educated decision as to whether you wish to buy it or not. Anyway, you left-click the mouse attack. There is one thing I will warn you guys that I do not like about this game. If you, well, the developers need to add a mouse lock to the window because my, well, unfortunately my cursor will fly off the right side onto my second monitor and I will uh, minimize the game occasionally. So be aware of that. That is a thing that happens. It kind of sucks. I kind of wish it didn't. Alright, so there he is. They're destroying the village, the evil, I don't know what he is, skeleton warlord or whatever that guy was. He decided to send his boys in to kill it. Now, I played around just a little bit to get familiar with the controls. That's roughly it. In all, in all honesty, there's not much to get familiar with. You just basically left-click and punch stuff in the face, and then you feel better about yourself. So, it's pretty good. Pretty straightforward. See, there we are. Just punching fools, doing murder-death killing, grabbing crystals and such all up in the place to be. Yeah, we're just going to wander around and do murder. Like, these guys are not even looking at us. They're like, oh, we must burn down this village thing. This building of doom. Say, I missed a punch there because I'm a noob. That's what noobs do. They miss punches. However, it's fine. We're just going to casually run over here. And they're going to continue to swing and attack and maul and try to do murder and mayhem and all sorts of other various things. But we care not. Why? Because we are here to also collect giant crystals that are within the grass. The tall grass, possibly a hay field. I don't know. Wheat field, maybe? No, it doesn't look like wheat. It doesn't... Well, I guess it would be hay. Hay would be the closest thing I would say that is. Anyhow, we have one more skeleton to defeat. You can see at the bottom of the screen, save the village, defeat the skeletons, and I have done so. Why? Because I'm a superhero. And it says the skeleton king has escaped. We must go chase him down and kill him. It doesn't say that, but he says he escaped into the forest, so we shall continue. We collected 28 out of 28 gems because we're bosses, and we're going to continue on. And apparently we're going to go to the Verdon Forest, and we're going to enter the level. Alright, so let us continue. That is a spitty giant plant monster that doesn't seem to like us very much, so we're going to have to unfortunately murder his face as well. We're going to come over here. I'm going to also preload my mouse to the left a little bit more just so it doesn't fly off the right. If I can remember to do this, I will. We just picked up something. I don't know what that was, but we did something. I'm going to jump and land on this. And it is going to trigger a series of events that will be mind-bogglingly, bogging, boggling hugely. It's a couple of boxes, guys. I wanted to go a little bit off the rails there, but I, I kind of, I kind of didn't do it. It's fine. Anyway, we're gonna head back on over this way. We're gonna pass by our plant friend. And he's gonna be like, "Seymour, feed me." No, nothing. All right, we're gonna leap onto the box, not falling into the water. Leap onto the second box and over onto dry land where we collect another crystal and another. Alright, that's clearly quarantined off. This has a little slidey thing that is going to keep us from being able to go a bit further, apparently. And we are going to leap onto it. And we shall jump. Whoa. Apparently we jumped straight up and the thing kept going. That was a little bit creepy. This guy's a mushroom. We want to bounce off of his head. And literally this little puzzle here that I've done is about as far as I've gotten. I've gotten a little bit around here and I get to come back. And then I died a horrible death and it was over. So, that's about it guys. I played like three to five minutes maybe. Oh no, I just died again. I was also playing on hardcore mode and this is not hardcore mode so, you know, we just reloaded at a checkpoint apparently. Hardcore mode means uh, if you die, you die as I'm sure you're well aware of what hardcore E is. And yes, noobs like me will fail at doing the simplest of tasks, like jumping and not falling, 
I do a ravine. I don't know how I did it the first time last time, but I did. This time, not so good. Yeah, let's see, that wasn't so bad. The skeleton's like, blah, 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 and he's dead. Yeah, not super impressive, I agree. Alright, I shall claim that. I see no other extra special things around here. So I shall start my jumping. On to the tricor of jumpy things. Oh, that didn't work. Apparently they all have to go down. To the bottom. Otherwise, oh, and it's timed. Oh, so I have to not be a noob. I don't know if I can succeed at that. Oh, or it's a jumping puzzle. Bam! Did that... No, that didn't work either, huh? What if we do this, followed by that, followed by that? This, this, and... That? There it is! Okay, apparently I was just really, 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 really ridiculously lucky last time when I managed to do the jumping puzzle 100% correctly the very first time. But that's okay, folks. That is okay. Well, there doesn't seem to be a sprint or a run button, and it also, if you hit escape, it looks like there are going to be some swords eventually. So I'm looking forward to that. We're back where this thing... No, we're not going to make it. I was tempted. I was super tempted, guys. I wanted to jump. I wanted to believe I could make that jump, but let's be honest. There's no way that would have ever have happened. There we go. Nailed it! And leaping over, we are victorious. We will continue onward. Now, I imagine there's going to be a lot more crazy puzzles and just awful, awful things that I'm going to have to deal with as time progresses. Right now, it's kind of easing you into the whole premise or idea of the game right now, so... Yeah, you just kind of have to deal with it, I guess. Alright. So, of course, you make the one guy kill the other guy, and then you kill him, so... That is the smart play. Now, I haven't really deciphered exactly how to bypass archers super well just yet. I guess that's probably the best way. Ow. How dare you shoot me, sir? I don't know what the red things are that we're collecting, and I believe the thing at the bottom is a life dealie. Holy cow, that dude just like charged at me. You see that? Yeah. Got them both. What? I don't I don't mind kiting it out. I don't mind playing it safe. I really don't mind at all. There we go. Nailed him. Got a tricore of crystals here for us. I don't know what the crystals do. I guess it's just a collection thing. As you go through, it's like, please collect all the crystals and you will get the reward. A great reward. Greater, greater reward. I don't know if you get a reward or if maybe you're able to buy something later on in the game. This is all uncharted territory, guys and gals. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea what's next. But I have a pretty good idea that I was awesome. I don't know if I was awesome. But I did okay, I think. We got 66 out of 66, and we unlocked the basic shield. Aw, yeah. All right, into the cavern we go, and we'll see what this does for us. Hopefully we get to... I'm assuming our shield's going to be like a right-click or something along those lines. I have no idea. Guess we'll find out soon enough. You like the little skeleton hiding behind the tree there, and this dude's just sitting on a mining cart. He's like, yep, I have a pretty... Is his leg broken? Like, his, his left leg looks like it's a peg leg or something. Oh, yeah, look at that shield block. What? It's odd that we still punch stuff, though. Like, I find that to be a bit strange. I don't mind it, though. I would prefer to have a sword, but you know what? I don't have one right now, and that's totally okay with me. We should go down deeper. And I like the music, too, guys. It sounds pretty good. Oh, jeez. The heck is that thing? Dead is what it is. That's right. Nailed it. Ah, all right, we murdered the running guy. No big deal. NBD. Batman, you are done. Batman number two. You are done as well, sir. And I assume that there's going to be some sort of jumping puzzle on this as well, or... Oh, you know what? I bet it... Alright, I know what it is. We're going to have to reset it. Unfortunately, that means we're going to have to jump on all of it. It's either going to be from 
smallest to largest or largest to smallest, so I'm going to go smallest to largest. And that should have... Nope. Okay. Well, then we're going to try the other way. And... Ha! Victory. See, look at that. I am a genius. I know. It's shocking. It's shocking to be sure. Gosh, I thought I fell. Oh, man. The angles are a bit... They're a bit rough. I'm not going to lie. They make me a bit nervous, but it's okay. It's okay. Cool, our shield can block that. I wasn't sure. I wanted to give it a shot. I'm like, well, we'll do it on a controlled thing. Oh, we just deflected it back. What's up, buddy? Go ahead. What just happened? You just owned yourself, brother. You just owned yourself. Are right, we going to run up here? Well, so far the shield has proven to be rather useful. You missed me. I missed you. Ah. No missing this time. I tried to do a, like a strafing punch. That was not the play. Oh dear, this has got me dying written all over it. Who designed something like this? This is awful. Got it. Nailed it. Alright, looks like there's a free life or continue or something. Apparently that wasn't even where we were supposed to go, I guess. Ow. Apparently jumping off that was not the play either. And apparently bouncing off the shrooms is the play. Alright, cool. Shroom bouncing, check. And that guy looks menacing. Oh, jeez. Ow. And we're down. No! Well, he lost his helmet. Hey, at least we get to start off right out here. Ow. Run like the wind, Binky! Run like the wind! Eh. Circle kiting! I want your red bloody crystal of doom! Is that the best you've got, sire? I shall kite you and punch you, and then kite you and punch you, and then punch you when I kite you. And you go down like Sweet Muffin, yes. Alright, so we've destroyed him. I almost jumped. That would have been bad. Come back to me! There's another one of those really angry dudes that we just fought way, way over there. <sighs> well, we wait. We grow old. It's a bit off-putting when this thing moves. And I like how everything kind of looks like, you know, you got the outline there. It's all being drawn in as you go. I bet these things fall. What do you think? Yep. Not a lot of time to think about this. Oh, and somebody's shooting stuff at me, too. That's fantastic. Oh, no. And I fell. That's about right. I got a little bit too greedy there, guys. And what happened? Down I go. I was having such a good rhythm, I'm like, yeah, we got this. But hey, you know what? We got through it the second time. My uh, lives are definitely uh, ticking down, but it's okay. It's okay, as long as I make it through this, I'll be pretty happy. You'll watch me. Most of my deaths should be due to falling. Some will be due to combat, obviously. But for the vast majority, it should just be me being dumb and falling on my face. So be aware of that. I'm sure if you guys are like me in platforming games, uh, most of your death are probably deaths are probably due to falling because you're a noob, like me. All right. Apparently we have to leap down there. Ugh, we made it. I wasn't 100% certain on that one. I was looking a little sketch, a little suspect, if you will. All right. Ugh, we made it. We made it. You missed me, fool. Alright, so that happened. Uh, okay. You defeated yourself. How does that make you feel? 
You are your own worst enemy. That's right. Also, your friend was your worst enemy, too. To the other guy who got hit by his friend's projectile. He got hit by his own and his friends. I mean, he just... Everybody hates that guy. Apparently, nobody liked him at all. They're like, nope, we're going to fire everything we've got at, at you, and you're just going to die immediately. Well, we got 50 out of 50. We got through it. Uh, my lives are lacking a little bit, but, yeah, it's there. I would like to hear maybe a little bit more diversity in the music, or maybe... Maybe I have the music down too low. I felt like the music was pretty subdued in that last one. Um, and I would like to hear a little bit more sounds, I guess, in general. Be something I would like to actually hear in this game or see with this game. I also really, really want a weapon. Sword. Sword can be used to attack enemies. As you collect more swords, they will be available in the pause menu. I have not collected any swords yet. The shield. The shield can block attacks and reflect magic spells. Alright, well, there you go. We will enter and we will play through this one, guys, and then I will either die and fail, or once we're done, I'll break off the first look video there. So you guys have a pretty good idea what the game has to offer, and you can make an educated decision as to whether or not you want to actually play it. And I know it's a decision, you guys. I just like to mull words over and make them awful. Oh, jeez. I'm terrified. Ha! Alright, I'm going to punch you. Ooh, I one-punched him. Usually it takes two hits. No, 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 come back over here. Yeah, that's right. What do you got? That's it? That was, that was, wow. Okay, buddy. Maybe work on that a little bit. I don't know. That seemed a bit lackluster, I'm just saying. Like, if I was a, if I was a bad guy and you were my minion, I would not be happy with the outcome of that little battle there. I've been like, really, dude? You just, like, walked up and you just kind of let that happen? Apparently, we have to deal with a, a pirate, a hand, two pirate, or another pirate, and um, some cross swords. So some sort of battle, maybe with those pirates? I don't know. The very same. All right, what are we looking at here? Looking at me to get some amazing airtime there. And I shall gather up this. I, I don't... Hmm. Press E to rotate. You were the hand. You were the pirate. You were also the pirate. I go one too many. And you were the cross swords. Alright, first try. Did it work? That is the question. Or did I do it backwards? I did it backwards. Alright, that's cool. That is okay. You are a pirate, you are a hand, you are also a pirate, and you are the cross swords. And did that work? That does appear to have worked. Excellent, excellent. Alright, cool. So we handled our business there. Anything horrible going to happen to me right now? No? Well, so far i got to say I'm a little, little underwhelmed by this particular dungeon. At least up to this point. Yay, another life that maybe I won't squander... Squander as I wander. No, I think we'll be okay. Alright, magician. Ow. Sorry about your luck. Sorry about your luck. Sorry about everybody's luck. I like how he keeps killing his own friends. It makes me happy. And you're dead. And he killed himself, too. So he killed three people. I only killed two. So I'm far less of a monster than he is. Just saying. I'm just saying. If you want to compare monsterness, I am far less. I thought I saw a gem back there. But no, apparently that was not the case. Uh-oh. That guy looks mean and angry. I wonder if I can defeat him in mortal combat. What was that weird sound? Well, there is a potion over here. Whoa. Come on, swing at me, please. Come into the pit of doom. Or I shall slay you, giant skeleton of doom. 
Oh gosh. Oh, he missed me. I don't know how he missed me, but okay. I will take it. I, I really don't know. Oh, apparently the red gems are also blue gems? It's a bit weird. These guys are still just firing arrows randomly, trying to hit us, even though we're no longer anywhere nearby. So, okay. I will take you down too, buddy. You will not survive. I am going to go double back to get that potion that I missed. I still hear very bizarre sounds. I am not sure exactly what I need to be doing at this point, but... Well, apparently that wall opened over there. Okay, so I guess I'll go this way... Maybe... It, oh, it did open. Okay. Like Maybe I'm delirious. Maybe this is incorrect. That bat has been eagerly trying to murder me for quite some time now. And we're gonna say good day to him, sir. I shall defeat you as well and dodge you and the punch. The punch is real. And here it is, guys and gals. We are to the end. If there's a boss maybe in the next map, I wouldn't mind fighting it. We'll see. We'll go to the next one, and if it looks like it's going to be a long forest guardian, that, that's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, we'll go and we'll do the boss fight, and then we'll break it off, guys. Then we'll break it off. Hopefully we get a weapon. I think we've already missed out on getting a weapon. Like, you would think that it would have uh, happened by now. But let's see if we can survive the boss fight, or if we go down like a sweet muffin. Uh-oh. Wee! <laughs> He just smushed his own guy. Oh! Apparently I can't hit him. Do I have to jump on him? Is that a thing that I have to do? Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Alright, buddy. What else you got for me? Come on, you gonna hit about me? There it is! Alright, Guardian. Bring it on. You ain't got nothing on. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. No spitting. There's a clear no spitting out rule when it comes to boss fights, alright? Bring the. I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, gonna land on your head again, fool. You're spitting at me again, aren't you? Don't worry, I'm just gonna outrun you for now. I will come back eventually. You will swing. You will spit. We will get the hobbity bobbity bobbity bop going soon. There it is. Boogity 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 boo. Agada ba gada ba gada ba. Wee! And that's not enough? Oh, I thought I defeated you. Darn it. Oh, I walked into it again. Darn it. It's twice now. Whoa. Whoa. Easy, ninja. Easy. Give it a hug and a bug and a bug and a bug again. Come on. Yeah. One more. For justice. Yes. All right, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to do it for this first look video. We defeated the Forest Guardian. I loved his voice acting. It was good stuff. The game's a lot of fun. It's a simple and easy... Well, I, I don't say easy. It's a simple little platformer. It's got some challenge. It's not overwhelmingly difficult either. It's uh, maybe a little on the easy side, but it's about a medium grade, I'd say, in difficulty for platforming and whatnot. I imagine it's going to pick up as you get more and more swords and you're able to do different attacks and more enemies and stuff that comes out. But this should give you a rough idea of what you're in for. I mean, it's, like I said, it's pretty simplistic, but it's still nice. I, I like it a lot, actually. So if you guys want more information about the game, the developer, or where to get the game, it'll be down below in the description of the video, as I alluded to at the beginning. And I guess I'll just catch you guys in, uh, well, I guess on Friday, so tomorrow with uh, First Look Fridays. That's what I'm going to be doing for probably the next couple weeks, and you guys can just enjoy that with me. And we'll be banging out many, many uh, First Looks so you guys can see what's out there and what you want to grab. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. We unlock the sword. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.